Hey, good evening. Um, <laughs> you're not going to believe what's uh, going on right here. Yeah? I mean, look at the uh, signals. And that is thing you can hear is the handheld. I just picked up some noise from somewhere on every single uh, <coughs> every single um, every single band. I don't know what's uh, what's going on here exactly, but um, it's a bit odd. So um, yeah, we'll just shut all these down. Switch cleaner won't go mess. Right, I'm gonna have to shut them down to do this. Uh, do this video. It's about the uh, about the handheld. Oh, this stool is doing my head in. Um, basically, I posted a video about the antenna. Uh, here on the radio shack and else which led to follow-up questions about the actual and that it handheld itself so um, we'll get on to that it might be a bit high actually Let's see if I can move it without having to stop the video There we go. Yeah, that's better. Now we can actually see it now. Uh, so yeah, basically, why I've got it wired up to here. Plug it in properly. Why I've got it wired into here is my eighteen six fifty power bank. Now, most of you, or some of you, should have seen this before. A row of uh, 18650s that I've uh, recycled from an old uh, laptop. This particular one has got different voltages on the side there. Focus. It's not going to, is it? But yeah, trust me, it does different voltages on the sides, and it's on uh, nine volt at the moment. Shut up. Right, I've got it on the nine volt setting. So. on to channel 20 I know it's still there by the way and do a quick uh, power test we'll try it on low power first should we run for half a watt low power uh, you, oh well you can see that half a watt there haha <laughs> I beat twice as bad on the low see I'm trying to do this upside down it doesn't help right there we go no it's on its high power setting <coughs> it does half a watt on low power no matter where you put it but um this battery pack, which I'll show you in a sec, I've eliminated the batteries out of it and wired it straight into here. So I'm running this off 9 volts. Um, like I said, the low power setting is half a watt anyway, but the high power with the 6 AA batteries is 2 watts. You won't get any more than 2 watts out of it. Um, so we'll try it on this one. On this power pack with nine volts and we should get we should get about four four watts mm. 
Yeah, there we go. That's uh, giving me four watts there. <coughs> and now, just to uh, try it on the, the other battery I use, I'll quickly uh, plug that in, which is 12, 12 volts. Not the camera over there. I don't know. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, we've got the uh, this one here. It's supposed to be 50 odd amp. Um, tried and tested. It does work an absolute uh, treat. Running the radio, it's no problem at all. So let's get him quickly changed over. I'll just simply unplug it. Oops. Let's swing that to the side. What are we doing? Mm. We'll switch him on. 12 volts. Plug him in. Test the uh, test the power. <laughs> okay, slightly more. Oh, so there we go. That's how I. Uh, that's why I run it off. I'll just switch this off. Disconnect. Up there somewhere, it's probably gonna work, it's gonna all go crashing down on me now. I see that being right. So we've got rid of that, got out of focus again. Right, let's quickly, quickly show you exactly what we've got. Um, if I unclip the battery. Just left with uh, basically the original battery case with uh, with a wire coming out of it. Nothing too technical going on in there. Gotta be honest. I will take the parts. There's yellow tape on there. I'm being meaning to change it. I say this isn't very. Uh, not very high tech at all. I bear in mind it's fuse that end, yeah. So we have got a fuse. We have got a fuse of it there. All of a sudden, yeah. If I can, let me just move this still. The dogs decided to run in my way. Uh, right. If I can get it apart without the wires falling out, that is. All we've done is simply, literally, just stuff the wire. Oops, <laughs> as you can see, it's just the tape holding it in. Just literally stuff the wire down inside there. On the terminal. Obviously, the right way around. Yeah, that's all I've done. That's all it is. Simply, uh, now I know some some of you might say, "Well, you know, why didn't you solder some wires uh, with some connectors on it?" Which I was going to do, but if I soldered the wires onto it. Obviously that render the the battery case useless so now 
if I want to still run it off uh, double A's, uh, triple A's, sorry, uh, yeah, double A's, <laughs> I can. Now if I want to go out somewhere and I don't want the wire, I can, I can simply run it off that. Uh, the obvious answer is to get the car kit for it. But uh, me being me, I won't spend the money to get the car kit. Um, but I can just do that. I'll make a little hole in the side for the white to come through. No problem. I don't mind. <laughs> but um, yeah, there we go. I'd say this, uh, this was opened up when I had it. I think it was either f about four. Uh, about four banks of 40 on it. Um, don't know what the uh, frequencies were, but they were all FM anyway. So I just, uh, I put it back to a normal UK 40 radio. But uh, there we go. Hope that's uh, pretty much explained everything there. Um, I wonder if that noise is gone. No, no, you're in nothing at the moment. Right, anyway, I'm going to carry on uh, playing by you, and we'll uh, catch you next time. Bye for now.